ευχαριστήσω ιδιαίτερα τους... Above all, let me thank the organizers of the forum for this invitation that matters a lot to me. It is a big honor to take part in an event such as St. Petersburg Economic Forum. I know that many are asking themselves a question, why am I here, not in Brussels? Why am I not participating in the negotiations there? But I am here because I believe that a role of the country that is searching to explore all its potential to reach success in every area and that is carrying a multifaceted policy towards so many countries is very prominent. The country of the kind has a big role to play and the international format that we've been pursuing after the global crisis of 2008 is different from what it had been. We in Europe were illusional for some time. We believed that we were the center of the world and we only relied on our neighbors. However, the economic center of the planet has shifted. There are new emergent forces that are playing a more important role geopolitically and economically. In general, I'd like to say that international relations are more and more characterized with uh, multipolarity. The role of G8 in enhancing the importance of cooperation with Asia, Asia is very relevant as well as the role of G20. Enhancing cooperation within the BRICS countries is another manifestation of the new world order that is shaping at the moment. The Eurasian Economic Union, a new entity of the regional integration, is potentially a very good example of such trends. This is an association that can produce new economic goods and provide for welfare of the countries. Anyway, the changes in themselves will not bring around a more stable world. Due to the old challenges like poverty, unemployment, marginalization of the whole layers of our society and crisis still exist, as well as collisions at the Middle East, Africa, and uh, even in the Black Sea region. At the moment, we have to take into account that the economic development centers are moving, they are shifting, and uh, we have to address all the challenges we are facing, keeping that in mind. That is also relevant to the process of economic development. It is going to speed up, as Jacques Delors has recently said, our economy will be a casino economy. And uh, that had happened just before the crisis of 2008. As for Europe and the Western world, let me explain what's at stake at the moment. It is essential to carefully address the challenges that we are facing at the moment. We have to build the bridges for cooperating with the other countries of the world. We don't have to stick to the old standards and to continue building worlds around us. For example, the crisis in Ukraine is a new hotbed of instability within Europe, which is a very bad sign for the international relations in general. Instead of economic prosperity and cooperation, what we are witnessing in the region is the process that might lead to militarization, war, and imposing sanctions. This vicious circle has to be disrupted as soon as possible, and uh, diplomatic initiatives in this regard have already been in place. I'm referring to implementation of Minsk agreements that have to be totally supported. The country I represent here, Greece, is at the geographical center that is at the crossroads of all those trends and crises. 
Greece still preserves the status of a center of stability in the region. We are a Balkan country, a Mediterranean country, but at the same time we also work and interact with the Black Sea region countries. So we perceive ourselves as a bridge of cooperation in the region, as an investment and trade hub. We are also a transportation hub and a center for energy cooperation, tourism and exchanges in education area. We are at the crossroads of three continents. In this regard, we are definitely willing to benefit from our location and to participate in international fora where we are presented as a EU, a EU member. And we'd also like to use our position as a springboard in order to benefit from it. We'll take every effort in order to achieve good results based on the cooperation that we've been enjoying with other countries. Russia is one of the most important partners for us. We're also working with new regional organizations. As all of you are fully aware, we are at the moment at the center of a storm, of a whirlpool. But you know, we live near the sea, so we're not scared of storms. We're not scared of open seas and of going into new seas. We are ready to go to new seas in order to reach new safe, uh, safe ports. Dear friends, the problem we are facing now and uh, our European partners are facing is deeply rooted in the process that I've described. The European Union and Greece is a member of the European Union should pursue its own path. The European Union should go back to its initial principles of solidarity, justice and social justice, ensuring strict economic measures will lead us nowhere. The so-called problem of Greece is not just Greece problem. It is the problem of the whole European Union. This is the problem that is deeply rooted in the structure of the European Union. So the question is whether European Union can once again become a development center, a region that will enjoy prosperity and solidarity, whether the European Union will again be a social solidarity hub, or it will continue to pursue the path that will lead to a dead end. The new emerging multipolar world will be definitely based on a new order but it will only be based on a new order if it eliminates all the things inherited from the old world orders. Up until now, it has taken courage on behalf of the leaders to take those decisions, but we cannot continue carrying the burden of the past. If we continue doing so, we'll have to continue making the same mistakes again and again, and we are doomed for failure. So the question is how we have to improve what we have to do in order to be successful. Thank you.